Well, we're here guys. Just turned up. Hoping for another ray. This time we hopefully we get one, because as you see on the last video we blanked. It's weird because we had like a nice warm some nice good weather, like warmer weather, and the rays are here. And as soon as we had that cold spell, which has been for a few days now, it's just killed it all off really. We haven't been doing too well. So but hopefully this time we get one tonight. We, me and Owen, one each. We've got plenty of bluey, so I'm just setting up now. I'm gonna be using a fixed ball on one rod and a multiplier on the other. So I'm using a pen surf blaster, um, 7000, and me on the other rod with a multiplier, I'll be using a pen mag 2, my old faithful. So Owen's just getting set up now, and so am I. So yeah, let's hopefully we get one. Looking forward to this, I'll speak to you soon. Here's my 7000 I'm going to use. I've only used this a few times. I've got a pair of them. I'm only like using it more for than the smooth hounds about because it's really good fun having a smooth hound on a fixed ball because you've got this to control it. It's brilliant. So I'm going to get this on that rod now. As you see there, that's the leader fixed ball sport icon an old model the first model i believe it's the mark one and they've got a few more now it's a good rod does a job so i'm gonna put this on there get that one out there and then set up the other one happy days got standard um, shock leader on this one. Once I lose this leader, I'll put a tape of one on. I think it's 60 or 70 pound as well. On the way down here, we called off at McDonald's, got some, got some food. Owen had Big Mac and fries twice. He's smirking at me now. I have Big Mac and fries twice, with a chicken mayo and a hot chocolate. So who's the fattest one this time? I think you are, Kaz. What the hell was that? Volcanic eruption. I present to you my spy in the Ministry of Defense. Fat bastard. First things first, where's your shit at? I've got a turtle head poking out. I think I am. I'll give you a shake. <laughs> you know that's going in. That is going in. <laughs> what we just said. Did you like the last one of you? Yeah. You like that, did you? I thought it was quite funny, actually. Did you? I'll add more of that then. Christy likes it, see? Why not? Let him have it. Gotta have a laugh and joke for the fucking lockdown. Gotta admit though, I'm getting fat myself. Now I've hit the 30s. 
think it's harder to lose it. I think McDonald's like that, though, Neil. Right, I've got to cut some bluey up in a minute. I'm squiggling my drink as well. Oh, I'm have some of these. Tango, strawberry watermelon. I tell you what, guys, get on that. That is absolutely beautiful. Phone's ringing. Copyright. See the speech in a bit. Always through. Let's Loop down. twice. Let's Let go. Down, Pull. Enough there for the first chuck for me, you knowing. I'll do some more after. I'll tell you one thing I am going to miss. Is my uncle sharpening this knife for me? He's been in hospital at the minute. He got COVID, so he's. I think he's just literally um, got out now, but he was in there for a long while. Yeah, he just got out now. He's at home, but he's struggling. He really is. But he survived it. He's, he's doing well. So that's my message time. So right, do some rigs. Got me ones that are already made up in my wallets. Loads of wallets. I've been making loads over lockdown. So many. I bet a lot of most of you that are watching all have. I've got me what ones in here. These are all my droppers. I've, I've decided to put all my droppers in one wallet, and then I've got more my pulleys in this one. And then I've got some flapper and scratching scratching ones in that one. Because that's, that's the only rigs I use. I don't use anything else. Unless I'm using running ones like for bass, and you know when I'm fishing in close. So right. Okay, there's a nice pulley dropper rig. There we are. This is going to be going out. All it consists of, as I will mention it again, as I always do in all my videos, is a clip. Normally I would use a different clip on that. So I must have run out. Uh, a swivel, a, a splashdown. That's a £60 rig body classic, I think. Uh, I've got some beads, um, a pulley bead, a bent clip, a swivel onto that bent clip. Same size swivels I use all round. Same, swivel, same size swivel for the top, bottom and the trace. And I think they're a size 2 or size 8. I will add it now. I've got... Uh, Snood, um, which is a 30 pound amnesia. I only use 30, sometimes I use 40, but most of the time it's 30. It does me. If I'm fishing more of a rougher ground, then I'd swap to 40. But if it's smoother ground, then 30 is plenty enough. Uh, these hooks are uh, Aberdeen's, and these are 3 O's and a 4 O. So, we've got a panel one there, which I believe is the Frio. Yeah, that's the Frio. It's got a kink to it. Just helps when you pin it in, it doesn't stick out too much. It sits nice and straight. So it's all neat. Um, good good hooking potential, then, ones. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put this bait on now. Get that rod out there, guys. The water's coming in pretty quick, to be honest. And I just literally push it round like a worm. I snap that bone of the fish, you'll hear it crack as you're pushing it round. It'll be very gentle, just take your time, there's no rush. You don't want to get a hook in your finger. There's no need to rush. Just gently push that round. You hear that? You might have heard it, you might not, but there we go. You haven't got to go all the way. It's good not to actually, because it does help having it sticking out a little bit like that, and leaving that bit at the top. It just helps lock it as well. 
And as the, the um, ray comes along and starts chewing, say there, he makes his way up to the hook anyway, so... Unless he comes in the other direction and takes this hook. Panel. So I'll leave a bit there and then I'll wrap it around three or four times. So one, two, three, go four. And then I'll go... I've started doing it this way. Instead of going through there, out through the other side, go in the middle, like that. And then out. And then pull. Grab the point and pull the line. So you've got a nice, neat, fixed bit of bluey on two well-presented sharp hooks. Perfect. Always put the lid back on your bluey. I put my bluey in these Chinese containers. Remember, every time you take a piece out, put the lid back on. Keep them fresh, especially when they when blood starts to communicate. Blood starts to communicate. What's the bloody fucking word? Me and my words, man. I'm getting too posh. Um, when the blood starts, uh, when the blood starts mounting up in the bottom, get it out. When the blood starts mounting at the bottom, you know all the juices. That's good to soak them in, you know. Especially when you start adding to it, it's like a bit of a, like a dip, you know, a bit of traction. So, right. Anyway, let's get this on and get it out. Happy days! Get it out, baby! Yeah! Watch me whack it, guys! I'm gonna full swing pendulum! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. How about that for a pendulum cast then? Right. You know what I've got to put on next? You don't need to know. Showed you that before in the last one. Owen needs to start using a lot of these. He's just had a bubba. Right. Let's get it over it. I just dropped a ray egg purse down there. I'll get that for you in a bit later and I'll show you. Oh, well, you hear, didn't you? This time of day, dogs. <laughs> Sound a bit like Owen when he's always moaning. Right. Let's try that one. Okay. He's all set up now, bless him, Owen. I'll tell you, he's a great lad. I love coming fishing with him, it makes me laugh. As I say, it does take it out of me because I'm up and down helping him, helping him out. You know, but he's a great lad, he really is. I really don't, I couldn't really wish anyone else to come with me, you know what I mean? He's just great to be with, he's great to fish with. Have a laugh, likes a lot of banter. You might think that sometimes I'm taking the piss out of him, but I'm not. It's just the way we are. You know? We have a great laugh. You want to hear the things he says to me off camera. So. He says some things to me, believe. 
but we've been lucky all our lives. I've known him, you know what I mean? He's known him since I was a well, family, you know? So, I'll tell you what, I hear more off him in like calling me and find, like, asking up, seeing how I am and that. I hear more off him than I do my brother. What does that tell you? Right. One, two, three. Let's get that out there. Right. Same again. That's going out the other one. Wipe your hands after you've baited up because it's just so oily. Blue is so oily. Put it on. Keep yourself safe. Get out in. Right, let's go and do Owens. See how far I can get this one, boy. Go on then. Get. Yeah. How's my heart's racing man? Still all them big match keep on eating. Yeah, I can't do it anymore. Well we've got Owen out there both rods, don't know if you see that, if you didn't then You must be blind. My heart's racing. Too, too many Big Macs, mate. Oh, sorry, I'm burning it off. See, it will do. You do the same tomorrow, won't you? And we'll go again. Will I? Yeah. You'll be going again tomorrow, aren't we? Somewhere different. Yeah, somewhere different. Somewhere different. Stay tuned. Right, I've just brought one rod in, the left hand rod, and now I'm going to bring the other rod in before it gets dark. Rebate up. On this one, guys, chew the bits. It's a bit chewed, the crabs have had a go. Get it back out there again. Happy days, he's out there. The bait's coming back chewed, guys. That one's all chewed up. So, something's happening out there. It was really stuck, this rod, as well. It really put it out. So... I unclip. Unclip that. About to go out, stand a pulley rig uh, panel and a, 
a dropper. Get the other rod in. Sorry if the torch is blinding you. As again, the baits have come back untouched. So, well, the other one was touched a little bit, but. This one's untouched. So, but as you know with me, fresh baits all the time. Always get fresh baits going out. So I'm going to get another bait on here and send it out there. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, I've finally got a bite. I finally got one. If you look, left arm rod, fixed ball rod. Zoom you in. You'll see it bounce in a minute. I don't know if it's a ray, but there's definitely something on. A weird wobble, so it might not be a ray. See if I can get it on camera. Come on. See that guys, it just went then. It's a little wobble, it was wobbling a lot more than that. But never happens when I want to film. Come on. Don't call me a liar. Please, baby, bend for me. Bend a wobble. Give me a wobble. Bend for me. Come on, my love. Bend for me. Give me a wobble. No, she's not interested tonight. Well, we've caught something. Got the whiting by the tail, look. Ta what is that? I don't know. I think we've got something. Right, let's get it on up and get it back. Well, we're back at the car, guys. We had no fish, just a couple of whiting. You didn't have nothing new to join. A bit rubbish, really. Absolutely. It's time to go home. <laughs> time to go home. Got anything to say this time? No, it's just crap. <laughs> That's all it was. It's because you don't put the bait on no hooks for me. That's what it is. I put on. That's what it is. Yeah. Hell you, mate. I swear to God, you don't ever put any. Listen to him. Bloody bait on the hook. Of course, I put bait on your hook. Yeah, I'm sure. Why is it that you always catch and I don't catch nothing? I only caught white in. That's, that's not fish. <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. <laughs> Ciao.